Hi and welcome. My name is Chris Hoffman and today I'm playing the MPS 1000 by Millennium. E-drums are great for playing different genres with the right sound in the blink of an eye. So doing sound treatment with an acoustic drum set, like choosing the right drums, changing heads, tuning them, finding the right microphones, it can take a really long time and a lot of dedication as you can witness in our recreating iconic drum sound series on this channel. So in today's lesson, we take advantage of having the MPS 1000 and let's see how we can manipulate a basic rock roof to play five of the most important drum styles. Our basic rock roof sounds like this. For musical applications, I just connected my laptop via Bluetooth with the module so we can play to some music. So let's go and have some fun. The first one is a disco house groove and I use the trance kit on the module. We add a bass drum note on beats 2 and 4 to our basic rock groove, play hi-hat accents on the off beats and we come up with a 4 on the floor groove. A cool little variation to build tension with this house or disco style is to drop out instruments. So let me play the hi-hat and snare drum as it is and when I add the bass drum again it has a nice satisfying release effect. The second style is trap and for this demonstration I use the trap kit. We can feel this following groove as a slow 16th note groove with backbeat on 2 and 4 with a monotone hi-hat phrasing. The interesting aspect in this style of drumming are hi-hat ornamentations and in my example now I play a mix of different subdivisions without changing the bass drum or snare drum. The third style is hip hop and the MPS 1000 also has a kit that goes by that name. We play a swung 16th note groove, the backbeat is a flam between the rim and the snare and the more open you play the flam, the more laid back is the effect that you can get.
Fun fact, the bass drum and snare drum melody is the same as in the trap style example. Only difference is the swung 16th note feel and it's a different tempo. A cool variation is to leave out the snare drum and play a repetitive heartbeat bass drum figure. And I'm sure you've already heard that many, many times and it actually comes from the DJ culture when DJs loop their samples. And this is the idea to emulate this on the drum set. The fourth style is a fast punk groove and for this I chose the kit Metal 2. We can feel this as a double time groove, bass drum and snare drum alternate and we double the bass drum note on beat 4. To play a high density fill, we play six tuplets for half a bar. Beat three is a hand-foot combination, four notes with the hands and two with the feet. Beat four is just alternating hands between tom two and tom three. Here we go. The last and final style is a slow 80s pop groove. And since we just played a super fast punk groove, let's do the exact opposite now with the 80s kit. We have a big sounding kit with lots of reverb, so to make our playing concrete and understandable, we'll need to play less notes and use space to let it breathe. The same concept of less is more goes also for the fill. And here's a bar of proof followed by one bar of fill. So disco house, trap, hip hop, punk and 80s pop. For every style we used a similar rhythmic idea based on the basic rock groove and keeping a constant backbeat on two and four. And as you can see, it's less about repeating ourselves due to a lack of creativity. It's more about knowing which sounds and which instruments lead and represent the style the best. Also at what tempo does the drum groove really comes to life and which instrument is creating the variations. So I hope today's examples gave you some answers to these questions and I'm curious to know what styles and sounds you like the most and what benefits do you see in using electronic drums like the MPS 1000. Let me know in the comments below and I hope to see you in one of the next lessons. Take care everyone, stay safe out there, be kind to one another and bye bye.